Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Everything in my video was found on a public domain. Congratulations to Natural Mystic on the birth of her sweet little girl. Lots of love and many blessings your way. I thank you, Patricia, for sending this video to me. We were talking last on the Kobe Bryant incident and how I do feel like there are demons walking around. I do. And I'm sure if your brain's anything like mine, when I say demons walking around, you know, we, we instantly go to the movies, whatever we've seen in the movies, and it's just not that way. I've seen people possessed. This right here is a prime example. In my opinion, Juliana Huff is most definitely possessed during this stage of whatever she's going through. During this energy healing, quote unquote, as they're calling it, at the Equality Lounge event, she lets out these god-awful screams, these moans, weird non-human sounding tones, and her body twists and turns, rises up and slams down. I'll put the link down below. I wanted to share this with you guys. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so getting on with it, let's talk real fast what's going on right now. When Megan was making all of these threats that she was going to sit down and talk about everything in this tell-all, one of the things that really bugged her, as it was told to me, she said the day she and Harry got married, Prince Philip was so rotten to her, and he was so upset towards her when he found out what Archie's full name was. Now it's being told that he is absolutely against Archie, even now, keeping Mountbatten, Windsor, as his surname. He's saying that he feels like Archie is more American and that he'll be spending his life in America. I wondered why they photoshopped him in that introduction picture. He was so angry back then over what they've named this child that perhaps Markle would be best for Archie's last name. If you believe a child exists, I don't. When he first married Elizabeth, he tried really, really hard. It was super important for him to have his last name recognized within the royal family. It was so important to him. But this, <laughs> he's not having it. He's not happy. I'm being told that he sees right through Megan and always has. He was totally against her and Harry attaching Mountbatten Windsor at the end of Archie's name. He says it devalues the name Mountbatten. And part of the Mexit agreement was that they would drop the Mountbatten off of Archie's name. In which Harry put up a fight, you guys. Now, speaking of fights, let me tell you what Globe said. Now, this is being told everywhere. Okay, so remember when Harry made that comment to Megan. Are you sure that baby's mine? I remember thinking, dang, why would he ever say something like that in front of a camera? The paternity of Archie was questioned by the royal family. They should have asked who carried the child because Megan didn't. And as per protocol in the royal family, the child had to take a paternity test. The fact that Harry was not the father. They said Megan was screaming and crying and saying this can't be. There's a big mistake. Harry's screaming, hot-headed and mad. This was a complete setup by all the royal staff members who don't like Megan. I always wondered, who did she wear that DNA splattered dress for? And what a dress it is. I wouldn't wear that ugly dress to cut grass in. So, as it's being said, they went and had their own paternity test taken. And what do you know? Harry's proved to be the father. What a mess. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Y'all stay safe and be blessed.